Hi lovely wine drinkers, I hope you're all well. It's Thirsty Thursday and we have another lovely wine to recommend. Now, in this searing tropical heat, I like to drink wines that are from areas that normally experience the same kinds of high temperatures because I think they're used to this heat and over the centuries have learnt the best grapes to grow and how to make the best wines that complement life in such a warm climate. So this week, I've gone to Portugal, this beautiful Este Vina Verde. It's lovely. So Vina Verde means green or young wine, and it's made of a variety of native Portuguese grapes. Grapes like Tajadura, an Arinto, an Aveso. And these are all light and fresh and pale lemon in colour with high acidity and low alcohol. The Vina Verde comes from a region in the northwest part of Portugal, right on the coast. On two sides, it's bordered by mountains, and on the north, it's bordered by the Minho River. The area has cool winters, but in the summer, it is very, very hot, and it experiences a high amount of rainfall, making it quite humid. So historically, the grapes are grown on trellis steps, um, so the smaller winemakers could cultivate as many grapes as possible. But now, after the enormous amount of investment that's been made in the Portuguese wine industry, the growers have been able to learn new, more modern techniques. So now they are spur pruned. So the grapes are kept free from humidity because they hang down a little bit below the leaves and they're exposed to the cooling Atlantic winds. There are now some amazing wines coming out of Portugal. So Vina Verde has a very slight effervescence to it. And this used to be because it was bottled very young and very quickly and it finished fermenting in the bottle, which is not really great wine making practice. And many would class the wine as actually off. Um, but in the case of Vina Verde, it releases a small amount of carbon dioxide that stays in the bottle and makes it taste extremely refreshing. But nowadays, winemakers add the slight sparkle artificially, which isn't quite as sexy, but it does ensure the wine is not bad. And it's not bad, it's not bad at all. In fact, it's lovely and wonderful in this hot weather. Light, lemony, crisp and fresh. Perfect with an al fresco salad or some fresh seafood or maybe some olives in the sunshine. I do hope you enjoy it, beautiful wine drinkers. And don't forget you get your Thirsty Thursday 10% off discount, bringing it down from a very good 9.49 to 8.55. So happy drinking team and see you next week. Stay cool.